Hello and welcome everyone to another video by the AM Academy. Now in our last videos we already calibrated and unboxed a scanner named the FreeScan UE7, a blue laser light scanner by Shining 3D. And it is impressively accurate and impressively easy to handle. Not only is it really lightweight, but the intuitive software also makes it a breeze to scan parts. Now, because the scanner has a fairly large field of view, it is actually perfectly suited to scanning larger parts, such as a car tire or a VW front grille or this plastic front of a scooter. So that's exactly what I'll do today. And without any further ado, let's get right into it. I'll click here, new project group, we'll overwrite my test folder. I do not need that one anymore. And uh, I've already explained this in the video where I scanned the car tire, but the resolution is does not equal the accuracy. All it does is determine the distance of two points within the point cloud. And for a model this large, medium detail is entirely sufficient. It'll have a distance between any two points in the point cloud of 0 0.5 millimeters. Totally good enough to actually give me a high quality model. I'll keep it at that level. So medium detail it is that does keep the same high accuracy that the scanner actually still has. So I'm just gonna go right ahead, leave everything as is, leave it on the normal settings and just get to scanning this part. On the back of the scanner, there's a quick menu that you can access using the center button. And then there are menu buttons around it in order to navigate the menu. And then there's a start stop button uh, at the bottom. So I'm just gonna open the software on the big screen. So you can see when I press the middle mouse button or the middle scanner button, I get my quick menu right here where I can go through uh, some of the options using then the basically arrow keys around the center button. I don't need any more of this. Using a long press on that middle button will actually activate the single laser line scan. Now this one is particularly good for getting into deep pockets, anything like that. But for scanning my actual part, as you'll be able to see, this would take quite a long time. So that's not what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch back to the regular scan where I have my cross laser lines. In this case of the UE7, it is seven blue laser crosses, so 14 lines. The UE11, its bigger brother, has a whole 11 crosses, so 22 laser lines. So let's start once again. I press my start button and I get to preview my model with the markers on it. And uh, with another press of the uh, start button, I will then actually get into scanning mode. And you can already see just how fast the scanning experience is. Actually, you know what? Let me do this and I will delete my scan data and start all over. And I'll actually have a stopwatch counting in the uh, corner now. So it should work. There we go. Just so we have a rough estimate of how long it actually takes me to get a model of this part that I am satisfied with. Uh, so I'm just gonna scan this right here. And that's where the part goes up. And I have it set on this rotating plate just because it makes it a bit easier, especially for the video, I don't have to move around the part. Normally, of course, that would also work. But uh, since that would have me walking around a bunch and always be in front of the camera, I do not want to do that.
Did I miss anything? No, I think this actually looks pretty good already. And uh, yeah, I'll just stop it, pause my stopwatch. So just over two and a half minutes to get this whole part into uh, the scanning software in a way where I think I will be mostly satisfied with the result. I've picked up all the important features. I've picked up all the geometries uh, that would require that, that would be required to uh, well make a replica, for example, I've got my uh, all my screw holes right there over here, so I could fix something to it. Uh, this little grill here at the bottom is actually came out quite nicely as well. Um, yeah, I I th I think this is good enough for me, and I will uh, let it generate a point cloud. But before I do that, once again, I will use a cutting plane in order to get rid of unnecessary uh scanned table basically so uh, i'm gonna select at least three markers do i have one over here yes i do so i've got three now but i want a bit more accuracy so i'll pick up a fourth from back there and uh, then i click create plane apply that and it should get rid of almost all the surplus uh area that i picked up from the uh turntable or the table below. So we can see right here, I do still have a tiny bit of leftovers right there. They will be uh, most likely calculated out once I make it into a surface model anyway. I'm gonna let it generate a point cloud out of this part uh, and then we can see how we progress further with this. Generating the point cloud usually takes a couple of seconds depending on the processing power of your computer. So I'm gonna let it do that and I'll be right back once it is done. Great, our point cloud is done. And uh, we can see now the few uh, residue parts that were still left below are now gone as well. The software has said, okay, this does not belong to my model. Uh, I do not need this and just got rid of it. And I think if we look from the front, it's actually quite a nice result. So the turn signals would go here on the left and right. The headlights uh, are very nicely visible. And then of course the wheel, the front wheel would be right here in this area. So I think uh, the result is actually really impressive for how little time we just spent picking this up. Um, once again, I, I keep being surprised and impressed by how well the scanner is actually working. The next step that we would need to do is generate a mesh out of it, uh, which I do with that button at the bottom left, at bottom right. Now I have a number of possible uh, settings that I could change before meshing this into an unwater type model. So it is a surface only model of this part. And once I am happy, I click on apply, it'll start that process of actually making it into one cohesive uh, surface model that it can then save and use in any kind of CAD software. So just gonna wait here real quick until that is done. The model isn't too complicated. And because we only chose medium detail, this shouldn't take too long. What it'll also do, because I have the setting enabled, is fill up all the little holds that are created by the markers automatically. So uh, they should be removed from our model. They should just be filled up. Um, it can happen that if you place a marker onto an edge or into a really bad spot, that the software will not recognize it as a marker and actually keep it where, uh, you know, just keep it as a hole. That's something that happened to me right here. But overall, this model here looks very, very good. And uh, well, with the marker case that I just showed over here, um, I can then afterwards manually get that hole closed by the software if it really does annoy me that much. So I just click on it and the software will calculate a uh, closing surface for that area of my part. So now that hole will be gone. And I can save this entire model as an STL file, OBJ, 3MF, whatever I want, and then actually keep processing or keep working with it in any CAD software or similar that I actually want. So there's a little uh, 
save icon here on the right hand side. I'm going to click that. I'm going to save it as an STL. And this is the scooter underscore front. Um, save it as an STL file because that's what I want from it. Click save. And now I can use that STL file, as I said, in any other software that I want. Great. Uh, going to make myself big again. Uh, thank you very much for watching. That's already it for this video right here because, well, we've picked up what we wanted to pick up. We've got a beautiful 3D scan that we can now use. And um, yeah, any questions or comments you might have, please leave them below the video. Uh, do subscribe to the channel. If you do like this type of videos, we'll have even more about 3D printing, about 3D scanning, all these types of things coming your way. And uh, without further ado, thank you very much for watching and have a great day.